the question that everybody have on Pesach uh, about those coconut pastries that they sell, all kind of cakes, all kind of cookies <laughs> with coconuts. And the question is a good question, what bracha should you make on it? Because the pieces of coconuts are visible, you can see them. And the Alakha says in Siman Rishbet, that whenever you have a fruit and you crush it, but the pieces are still visible, then the bracha doesn't change. For instance, if you have an apple and you want to make an apple sauce, if the pieces are still visible, the bracha would be bore priyaetz. Unless if you make it into a liquid, you make it into an apple juice, then the bracha will change. And this is how it is with everything else. If you crush it, but the pieces are still visible, you'll take, for instance, I'll give you an example. Take a date. You'll crush it. You can crush it as much as you want. The bracha doesn't change. It's still bore priyaetz. So therefore, we hear as well, the coconut, is, it's even worse. Even, even if, if it is crushed the way it is, but the pieces are there. You see the pieces, they're visible. And therefore, the bracha should be bore priyaitz. That is true whenever we deal with regular fruits, vegetables, that the bracha doesn't change. But, says the Rashba, in Chelekalim, about the Rashba, Siman Taf, that there's an exception to that rule if the thing that you are you're having, you the, the thing you are you're about to eat is such a thing that normally people don't plant for the purpose of eating as a, eating it as a whole, as a fruit, as a vegetable. Rather, what do they do with it? Either they make some kind of uh, 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 spice out of it, they make out of it oil, or even if it's made. To, uh, to crush it and to make such a, such a thing out of it that uh, would be like a jello uh, or, or something like that. If you have something that's made a jelly out of it, that would also, and that's the purpose, and that's what they normally do with that kind of fruit or vegetable, then the bracha would be shakol. This is how the Rashba says. This is how the Bet Yosef brings down in Rash Bet. This is how the Taz and the Magen of Ham say as well. According to that rule, says of Shlomo Zamanoba, that since the coconuts are normally not planted in order to eat it as a whole. If you eat it as a whole, you take a piece of coconut and you eat it the way it is, of course the bracha should be bore priyaitz. But since the coconuts are not made for that, they're not planted for that, what do, they, what do you do with coconuts usually? You make out of it oil, you make out of it spices, or you make those cookies, which means it's made to grind it and to make something like that, make a pastry out of it, make a cake out of it. And therefore, according to that, the bracha would be shakol niya bitvarot. This is how Rosh Shlomo Zaman Orbach says, this is how many, many poskim bring down alacha lemaaseh. It's brought down from Chacham Ovadiah like that. It's brought down from Rav Ben Tzion Mutzafi. And the Orle Tzion says another svarah. He says that whenever you crush something to the size smaller than a sesame seed, then that will be also shakol. He says up to a sesame seed, since that size, you see you make a bracha on this, just like you do on a sesame seed. So up to that size, we can compare it to the smallest thing, that's a sesame seed, that would retain the bracha. But once you take it to a level lower than that, the bracha on that would be shakol niyavitvot. So over here you have few svarot to say, that that's called uh, something that, although it's not Ibed Tzurato, but for the other Svarot we mentioned, it would be changing the bracha from Bore Priya Etz, as you would say on regular coconuts, to Shakol Niya Bidvon. Therefore, one that has such a pastry would say Shakol Niya Bidvon. Now, you have to pay attention. Sometimes people have in it flour, right? They want to eat Matzah Shira for those that, are, that, that think that they, uh, they could eat those matzah shira, those that hold that they want to permit matzah shira. So if you have flour in there, automatically that cookie would become bore minemes or not. Thank you.